In Massachusetts, police say a suspected drunk driver caused the crash that killed three family members in Somerset. 12 News reporter Alexandra Torres Perez uh, joins us now in studio with the new uh, information. Alex. Well, Mike, the accused driver will now face two extra charges for manslaughter and motor vehicle homicide while under the influence. And that's after the third victim of that Christmas head on collision died on Friday. On Friday, family and friends will gather here at the St. John of God Parish to remember 15-year-old Jacoby Arruda and his grandparents, Floriano Arruda and Donna Arruda, who just died on Friday. Just down the road from the church, you'll find this intersection, where the state troopers say the accused drunk driver Adam Gothier got on Veterans Memorial Bridge the wrong way. New court documents reveal new details where Gothier told state troopers he, quote, got hit while trying to get to another lane, which troopers say was across the concrete barrier. The criminal complaint says Gothier was at a party at his mother's house where he had two to three drinks. Gothier told officers he was trying to lose weight and doesn't drink often, so, quote, wine is a lot for him. When given a sobriety test, Gothier failed, and the new court documents say he denied a breathalyzer test afterwards. When troopers asked him if he felt he was okay to be driving, court documents say Gothier replied saying, quote, possibly no. Gothier is set to appear before a judge next Tuesday. And visitation for all three victims will be on Thursday at the Eau Claire Funeral Home in Fall River. The obituaries say a foundation is in the process of being created in honor of the youngest victim, Jacoby. Reporting live in studio, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. Funerals will be held this week for the three victims of a head-on crash in Somerset on Christmas Day. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us now live in studio with the new charges filed in this case. Alex? Mike, the man accused of driving under the influence and causing this head-on collision will face a judge next week. He is now facing two more charges, and these new court, court documents reveal new details about what happened that night. Manslaughter and motor vehicle homicide while under the influence are the new charges Adam Gothier is now facing after a third person died in a head-on collision Massachusetts State Police say he caused. New court documents reveal state troopers were able to recover dash cam video from a tow truck which showed Gothier getting on the bridge the wrong way. The criminal complaint says Gothier was driving south on Branton Avenue when he tried to turn onto Route 6 West. But while making that turn, court documents say Gothier crossed a raised concrete island onto the intersection, causing another car to stop at a green light to avoid crashing. Troopers say the video then goes on to show Gothier get on the bridge the wrong way, ignoring signs to stay on the right side of the road. Last year, Massachusetts Department of Transportation installed a new wrong way detection system across the state similar to the ones we have in Rhode Island, which helped bring wrong way crashes close to zero. There is one located in Fall River, but not at the Veterans Memorial Bridge. At this time, MassDOT says it's unclear how effective the system has been and has no plans to add more locations. Meanwhile, family and loved ones are getting ready to say their final goodbyes to the three people who died on that head-on collision Christmas Day. 15-year-old Jacoby Arruda, his grandfather Floriano Arruda, and his grandmother, Donna Arruda, who just passed away on Friday. A funeral mass for all three will be held on Friday morning at the St. John of God Parish, just down the street where troopers say Gothier got on the bridge the wrong way. And visitation for all three victims will be on Thursday at the Eau Claire Funeral Home in Fall River. The obituaries say a foundation is in the process of being created in honor of the youngest victim, Jacoby. Reporting live in studio, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.